You've got to bear in mind that if you are a rally star in Scandinavia, you are much better known within Scandinavia than you are as a rally star within Britain. With due respect to Colin McRae, who's probably the quickest talent around, if you stopped a thousand people in the street and said, who's Colin McRae, very few would know. Whereas in Finland, I remember I was in Helsinki when, forget it, I think the Russians put up a three-man space war. Two men went into space for the first time. Timo Mackinnon was leading the Thousand Lakes Rally in an escort. Mackinnon was the page one lead and the Russian thing was number two. Everywhere else it was the Russians and you couldn't find Mackinnon in the papers at all. So you had therefore more incentive to be a star in Scandinavia. I think also because it's the winters are long and dark and it's all a bit sombre, I genuinely think that for rallying the Scandinavian environment does breed a determination. The escort era now really got into its stride, and for the next three years, Timo Mackinnon, accompanied Timo by the Mackinnon late Henry Lydon, were the winners. The, the escort, both in Mark I and Mark II form, really was the ideal rally car. It was small enough to throw around, and in twin cam form, had a superb power to weight ratio. It was readily available, and therefore the first choice of the amateur and semi-professional alike. Because of this, Ford always had strength in depth to back up the works cars. To win the RAC rally for three consecutive years. It was pretty satisfying to have managed him, and also to say, so that, that, just that one moment, if I could put that in a bottle, I'd be very happy. Into Wales for the final two days, and Mikola already looks a winner. His lead is still over seven minutes, and the next two places are held by his own teammates. Do you remember the first stage this morning? Yes. What do you remember about that? Oh, Christ, I had an accident there two years ago. Today, the very nature of the rally has changed. These days, it's become a sprint. It's, uh, it's a race from the first stage. The spectator stages on the first day, you've probably only got eight stages, and they, they're possibly a maximum of what, 50 miles on the first day. Those are all critical now. You can't afford to make a mistake. It's not a case of just waiting and seeing what's going to happen on the final day or the final night anymore. It's a sprint from the word go, and one of the people who are sprinting, and there are going to be a dozen of them, possibly more, is going to come through a victor. The Lombard RAC Rally. Britain's round of the World Rally Championship and her biggest spectator event. We're going to trace the history of the rally through the 80s, 10 years in which the event had been won nine times by Finns and just once by a Swede. A decade which has seen the rise and fall of the Group B supercar. Our story begins with the man with whom it will end. I think we have a very good chances, but um, um, uh, the car is very good and the tyres, we have extremely good tyres. The problem uh, is only about me. So, Penty starts from Bath and heads to an extremely slippery long lead. Russell Brooks in a Torbett Sunbeam. Tony Pond has already hit a Lions feeding table, doing nothing for the lines of his TR7 V8. 